Hey folks, Dice Dice Kitty here, and I have a, a super special guest. This is Mini DDK, and we are going to talk to you about a game that we got from Origins. It's My First Castle Panic, and this is from Fireside Games, who are one of my favorite board game companies. All right, so we're going to talk about the components, rules, just double-sided rules super super easy to play do you know how old you are can you tell them how old you are how many years she's being shy say three yeah three how, how old are you gonna be i'm gonna be four she, i'm gonna get birthday yeah when she has a birthday she's gonna be four all right so she's played this a couple of times now all right, the board, it's your standard uh, cardboard, you know, board for a board game. Uh, it has a start. What goes here? A road. Yeah, it's a road. Do the monsters go on here? Yeah. Where's the castle go? Can you show me? Yeah, the castle goes down there. Awesome. So, as the monsters move along this, uh, there are cards that have different color shapes on that correspond with those and that's how you capture the monsters all right so the castle it comes with several little pieces Let's see if I can get them all out here like I said we've already played this several times so stuff is everywhere in here and I apologize all right so this is the main castle and it's got little pieces that slide in like this and if you leave it together, you're not going to have to worry about any wear and tear on it. So, that's the castle. Can I have the wall for the castle, please? Thank you. The wall has the little pieces that slide in on the top. I like that because you can't get the pieces mixed up. Because these slide in from the top. These slide in from the bottom. So, you've got the castle and the wall. And the wall sits in front of the castle like that. And then you've got the, the cards... And the little cardboard tokens, these are the monsters. Whoops. There's a whole bunch of these little monster tiles. Do we have to put one of these on the board every turn? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some of the monsters have different abilities that tell you that they jump over monsters. Then you've got your regular ones. The ones with the stars are the starter monsters. They go out on the board first. You've got some that push ones. She's already setting the game up. You've got them that push. Uh, you've got them that push and they make you draw an extra car or extra monster. So they go on one tile, right? Mm -hmm. Like this. There we go. Not like this. One monster on each space. Where'd the other one go? Did you drop it? Okay, so they're cardboard. Uh, mm -hmm. Over time, they're probably going to get some wear and tear. It's fine. It's a kid's game. Um, there are player aids. Fireside, I love you. Thank you for player aids. Um, they are regular cards. Now, I guess if you really wanted to, you could sleeve these cards. Uh, if it's a kid's game, there's probably going to be some rough handling on it because most kids, even this sweet little angel right here, can be kind of rough with stuff, but it's okay. So... This is what the cards look like. And they have, as you can see, different shapes. All right, so this one here, can you tell me where that can capture a monster at? Which which place? What is that? A green square. Green square. Can you find the green square on the board? Yeah, there you go. Okay, so there's no monster there, right? So you can't use that card there yet. But uh, they all have different things on them, like I said, like this one. What are those? Triangles. Triangles, yeah. What colors? Green. And? Triangle. Yeah, what color? Green. Red. Yeah, so are there any red, green, or blue monster or triangles that have monsters? Yeah. There's no monster there, though. What about the other one? Yeah. Is there a monster? Yeah. There is. 
Is he invisible? Red <laughs> Where's What about this one? Is there a red triangle with the monster? There. Okay, so what do we do when we have a card that we can play? Mm -hmm. You play the card, capture the monster. Where does the monster go? In this cool little box dungeon. This, uh, yeah, in this game, we don't kill the monsters. We capture them. So after someone plays a card, they take a random monster. So after we're done with our turn, what do we do? You gotta put a monster move, right? Mm -hmm. And then we gotta get another one, right? Where does it go? In the starting place. Uh-oh, that's got a symbol on it. So, symbol. yeah, so the symbol is an arrow like this, which tells us we have to move the monsters are you tired? No. I'm okay. Tired. Now that's that arrow means we have to move the monsters again. Can you move them? Yeah. Good job. The hand with the tile on it means we have to draw another monster. So you want to draw another one? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. And then where does that monster go? Right. Good job. She's only played this maybe three times. She's three. She has a pretty good idea of how to play. So, uh, when the monsters get to the wall, they tear the wall down. Uh, if they get to the castle, we lose. So, it's pretty easy though. Gameplay, like you saw most of it. So, you draw a card from the draw pile as the first thing you do every turn. Then you play one card from your hand, just like she showed you a minute ago. Or, you can ask for help from another player. So. If I had had this card in my hand and she saw it, she could say, Mama, will you help me? Okay. Will you say that for me? Yeah, help me. Help me. And then I'll go, okay, well, we'll get this monster and capture this one. And that card gets discarded. So that, that's pretty simple. And then after that, you move the monsters and you draw a new one. Easy, easy gameplay. It's just like the regular castle panic except there's a little less going on and it makes it very easy for little munchkins like this one here to play so do you like here I'll take your card since we're done with that do you like castle panic yeah yeah what do you like the most do you like the monsters the cards the board the castle what do you like the most she likes the castle. That's her favorite thing. What is it cute? Yeah. It's cute. We're going to see the castle tomorrow. And she wants to go see the castle tomorrow. All right, uh, Fireside, you got to build the shop of castle now. <laughs> All right, so that's it. As far as components go for a kid's game, I give it two thumbs up. Do you give it two thumbs up too? Yeah? You like it? Yeah. All right, and gameplay for children, if I could give it more than two, I would. This game is perfect, especially for young children learning colors and shapes and structure. This is a wonderful game. So if you have a three or four or even five year old at home, you might want to check this game out. It's pretty great, isn't it? Yeah. All right. You want to tell everybody bye? Bye. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. Live long and prosper. Board out. Game on. Game on. <laughs> Mwah! <laughs>